What's up guys, this is the Programmerholic Bhanu Prakash here. I'm so excited to make this video today because this time I'm using some new techniques while recording and editing the video. I strongly believe that you'll see some improvement in the explanation part at least. So in the previous video we have discussed about the types of inheritances and access modifiers. And now in this video we'll discuss about single inheritance. Access modifiers are best understood when there are at least three classes involved. So we are not touching that right now. And as we are dealing with just one topic, we can go deeper into this concept. That's a good news. All right, coming to the point, single inheritance is the most basic inheritance. It just involves one parent class and one child class. It's just a one-to-one -one relation between two classes. Here a child class which also called subclass inherits properties of a parent class. In other words, the child class will have the access to the objects of the parent class and no other class is involved here. And note that this is a parent to child inheritance but not child to parent. That means a parent class may not inherit the properties of child class. So let us see an example here. Here we have a parent class and a subclass which is called child class. And remember that there are only two classes involved in the case of single inheritance. In each and every class, they have their own set of objects, which are variables and methods. In inheritance, parent class gives the child class access to its objects. So the child class have the access to every object of the parent class and now the objects of the child class can call the objects of the parent class and in this case we use the extends keyword i will let you know what extends keyword in uh, what extend keyword is when we write the program so let's get started so here is the parent class which is class parent. Let me save it first. It's PC. To use Java. So the class the name of this would be single inheritance dot java and in this case i'm not writing any um, package because it is only for a demonstration it is not a real time program so in the parent class we uh, let, let us say we have parent method and for our uh, for our uh, checking for our test purposes, we will write an output line which says parent method executed. And coming to the child class, let us put. A child method and in that in the same way we will put child method executed All right now the main method will be in the child class public static void main string args and here I will create an object of the child class because uh, in in the presentation we have seen that the child the object of the child class can call the objects of the parent class so I'm creating the object of child class and with that child class object we will call the object of parent class which is parent method all right so let us say 
child obj be the object of the child class child obj new child all right and now i'll call child obj dot child method and let us check if it is working properly so here is our command prompt and now i will test for java c single inheritance.java all right there is an error uh, we don't put s over here one second so we have sys here and here let me save it and then here we go compiling we have no problem for now so the main class is in the child i mean the main method is in the child class so we are going to put child here we are going to execute the child class and it says I'm very sorry guys I'm, I was so confused when we execute Java class file we are going to put only JABA and not the C okay so here we go child method executed so for now everything is good let us now call the parent method so now here we are going to call the parent method using the child object child obj dot parent method and here we go I am hoping for an error and you will see why java c single inheritance dot java Here we go there is an error and it says cannot find symbol so they cannot find the parent method in the program because the parent class hides its objects from the child class until the extend keywords is, uh, I mean the extends keyword is used so let us put an extends keyword and see what happens so we have extends so what are we extending we are extending the parent class so extend parent and now let us see whether it is working let me clear the screen and now here we go so far so good no errors now java space child gives child method executed and parent method is also executed so this is how the single inheritance works so what what we have done here is we have created a child object the child object called the uh, method in the same class and it also called method from the parent class using the same object so this is how the single inheritance works And let me give a small demo of the access modifiers and uh, we cannot use I mean all the three uh, I mean we cannot explain all the three access modifiers in a single inheritance because protected and the public are same in case of single inheritance because protected means the uh, uh, child class can I mean the parent class can only give the objects or give access to the next child class so there are only two classes over here one parent and one child so pair uh, the public and protected access modifiers are one and the same in this case so we are, uh, what are we going to do now is we are going to check only for private so uh, when we put private here let us see what happens so for now the parent method is a private so let us see if the child class can access it. 
So, here we go. Cannot find symbol. So, the parent class hides the parent method from the child class. And coming to if, if you put it uh, protected or public, it works. It works uh, one and the same. So, uh, let me tell you how it works. No error. And if you want to see it, it is executing very well. And if you put it public, it works the same way. So in case of protected, if there is any third class that is accessing the parent class, then that class is not going to have the access. You will get to know it in multi-level inheritance, which is the next video. So stay tuned. And for now, subscribe, like and comment. If there is any doubt, please put it in the comments. And that's it guys. Have a nice one. Bye-bye.